In our current online environment, where what goes on the internet stays on the internet, and anybody can post anything on social media, it's important to maintain your online privacy. Whether it's blurring a background you don't want people to see, or obscuring someone's face, be it for legal reasons, or because it's Kevin from Accounting. Here are some of the cool things you can do with this app. To install the app, go to the App Store and search for Blur Photo Editor. You can also find the download link in the description below. Let's learn how to use the app to blur a photo background. Upon opening the app, select Blur Photo. Then, pick a photo with the background you would like to blur. After selecting the photo, you will see the option Blur BG on the menu bar. Tap on that to automatically blur the background. If you want to manually blur some areas that you might have missed, swipe right and select Brush. Then just drag the slider to adjust the size and position offset. Use two fingers to zoom in. Then apply the blur where you've missed a spot. Afterwards, simply tap on the download icon on the top right of the screen. Let's say you want to blur someone's face off, for instance, an unwanted person. Go to Blur Photo and select the photo. Next, select the Face Blur option, which will detect every face in the photo. Then simply choose the face you want to blur and confirm. Again, you can refine your blur with the Touch Blur option. Just zoom in, set the brush size and position offset. Then apply to improve the blur. Once you're satisfied, just press the download icon, select More, and hit Save Image. Now, let's say you want to blur the license plate of your car before sharing it. Simply go to Blur Photo and select the photo with the car in question. Next, go to Brush and select the brush size according to the size of the license plate. Once the brush size is OK, zoom in with motion gesture. Then apply the brush to your license plate carefully. Now, after blurring the image, you also have the option to add a filter to it. Just go to the Filters option and try some out. Once you're happy with your edit, tap on the Download icon, and you can either directly share the image online or save it on your iPhone. And that's all for today. The link for the app is in the description below, so be sure to check it out. And if you did like this video, don't forget to leave a like, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get more excellent iPhone tutorials like this one.